Tudor have lived in the shadow of Rolex for many, many years. They've been called names like the poor man's Rolex and many other names that I think are undeserving. However, in 2013, they re-entered the U.S. market very, very strong. This was a turning point for the brand, and they introduced arguably their most iconic watch and their most popular watch, and that is the Tudor Black Bay. This was a homage to some very important Rolex and Tudor references, obviously popular for a very good reason. This is a good looking watch. It is a well-made watch and it obviously looks like a Submariner or a vintage Submariner a little bit. So this is an alternative, finally an alternative to the Submariner in general. And you're getting it from a brand that's actually owned by Rolex. However, there are three other watches in the Tudor catalog that I think are extremely underrated. And they all point to old Tudor references that are pretty cool. And I'm gonna start with one of my favorites and that is the Tudor Advisor. This is a watch that retails for around $6,000 on a strap, $6,225 on a bracelet. It is an expensive Tudor. It's one of the most expensive Tudors that you can currently buy new from the brand. And there's a reason for that. This is an alarm watch. It's actually a complicated watch. It does get an ETA 2892, but it gets a module that's put on top of that that's in-house made by Tudor. So this is really an in-house module made by Tudor that is that alarm function. So a very interesting little option right there. And then of course, this is a 42 millimeter watch, not in stainless steel, but in grade five titanium. So if you're getting it on that bracelet, you're getting a grade five titanium bracelet and case. There is a little area on the dial, a little uh, window that tells you if the alarm is on or off, and there is also a power reserve indicator for that alarm. Uh, just a really nice little package. It's not little, it is 42 millimeters, so I say little, but it's not exactly a little case. However, the case does look a lot like a Rolex case, a Rolex Oyster case of old. Uh, and this is, as I mentioned, a, a reference back to, or, or harkens back to a reference in the Tudor catalog. It was the Tudor Advisor. It's actually an alarm watch that was made by Tudor. These were very popular back in the day. Uh, there were just a few other watches that competed with this watch. That was the Vulcan Cricket and then the JLC Memovox. And then there was the Tudor Advisor. So they came out with this watch to compete with those other two brands. Uh, and obviously they revisited this when they relaunched and this is an amazing, amazing watch. It is one of their most expensive, as I mentioned, good looking watch and you can get it on a bracelet or a, uh, a, a strap. Either one is really good. Uh, I choose the Cognac dial. This is sort of like a brown dial, just a beautiful watch in general. Next is one of my favorites. Again, this is the Tudor North Flag. The North Flag, probably one of the most underrated Tudors ever made. This is an integrated bracelet watch. It was one of the first or the first Tudor to house their in-house movement. Uh, and this gets the MT5621. Uh, a really interesting movement in general. Not the best looking movement that's ever been made. It's very Bauhaus. It's just a plain sort of finishing on it. Uh, very industrial looking, but in keeping with the design of this watch, you get on the dial some yellow accents and then a power reserve. That's kind of controversial with a lot of people, but I really like it. Uh, 40 millimeter case. This watch also based on a vintage watch from Tudor. It's based on a vintage Tudor Ranger reference, a very obscure reference, which was an integrated bracelet. It has very similar hands. The case is obviously very different from this. Uh, but a very good looking watch in my opinion. I really like it on the bracelet. I would recommend getting this on the bracelet only. On the bracelet, these come in at around $38.50. Uh, these have been going up in price. If you check these out on eBay, they've been slowly creeping up in price. You can get these around $3,000 still. However, it's getting tougher and tougher. That Tudor Advisor, you can get around $3,000 to $4,000. So those aren't as popular as the North Flag. I think a lot of people are beginning to realize that that North Flag is a very interesting reference and very well-priced reference. 
um, and people are starting to snap them up. But uh, definitely an interesting watch and a good looking watch. Last is actually a Black Bay reference. However, it's probably the least popular Black Bay reference that they make, and that's why I put it on this list. It's the Tudor Black Bay P01, a $4,000 watch that is based on a prototype that was made for the US Navy that never went into production. It gets the caliber MT5612, uh, which is essentially the same caliber that goes into that North Flag without the power reserve. It's a 42 millimeter watch, so it's on the bigger side because it gets an enormous lug to lug of around 55 or 56 millimeters, and that's because it has a locking system that is fitted to the actual lugs, and that's the locking system for the bezel. It's a bi-directional bezel. Um, just a very interesting system, something that never went into production. A lot of people are likening this watch to the Omega Pro Pluff because this is a very quirky watch. Uh, and when it came out, a lot of people hated on the design. Uh, they thought it looked like an SKX or a Zin or something like that. Uh, honestly, if you get this watch in hand, it's a really good looking watch. It actually wears a lot better than it looks. And you can get these for around $3,000 and they are really worth that all day long. Since these aren't popular, these probably will become a collector's item, I think, just like that North Flag, just like that Tudor Advisor. Very under the radar, overlooked models. Uh, a lot of people, when they're going to get a Tudor, they immediately go to the Black Bay, the Black Bay Bronze, uh, and, and the Black Bay Chronograph. Those are very popular. I think these three watches are very overlooked, underrated references from a very popular brand. Uh, I definitely would check them out if you're in the market for something unusual. Uh, these are very unusual and very good looking watches from Tudor. And obviously you get all of that Tudor quality, all of those uh, Tudor elements that make Tudor popular. Uh, however, you get them at a discount and they are readily available. And some of these Black Bay references are very hard to get these days uh, and becoming harder and harder. And I think these will be really, really fun easy watches to get uh, that will be very interesting. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below of my choices. Obviously not many choices to make here. I think that there weren't uh, a lot of uh, choices left other than these three. However, I always wanted to make a video about these three watches. I think they're very, very good looking, uh, interesting watches that, uh, that are out of the box for both Tudor and Rolex and that's why I like them. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.